Hi, in this video I will show how to use app for saving data from a web page into a SQL script. So app, a basic application will read the data from web page and web, from web, from table into web page and create SQL script with structure and with data in it. To download an application, I will click uh, on uh, I'll go on my website I will leave a link in the site in the description and we'll type click on search and type HTML to basically see all HTML applications I will click on export HTML table page then HTML table to SQL and click on the load button to start the login process and um, wait till the archive will be downloaded on my local computer I will be recording more videos on um, HTML uh, converters and um, so if you are interested, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can see uh, archive has been downloaded on my computer. I have it here. I'll click on download archive, click on MSI inside archive, click on more info on the screen. I'm getting the screen from uh, Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. I'll just click run anyway to start installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes and click on finish and final screen. And you can see app has been installed on my computer. I have a new shortcut on my desktop. Now I can close this and this and double click on shortcut to launch app. Now conversion is three steps process. And step one, we will have to select HTML file. If we have HTML file saved as a HTML page, on our computer, just physically on hard drive. I can click on this button, navigate to my documents or whatever, or um, whatever uh, folder contains my file and just click on file and click on open and add it here. If I want to convert a web page, I can uh, click on add URL then uh, click here on web page right click copy click then go to my app click on add url right click paste and click on add and you can see um the url has been added to input input list and um basically that's it for with the first step i'll click on next step in this step, uh, I will have to select first which SQL database type I will be using. I can use a Microsoft SQL Server, I can use MySQL or MariaDB, or I can use SQLite. Let's choose a Microsoft SQL Server, because uh, it, it affects result SQL will be for different database uh, server, uh, SQL will be different. Then here I can select which columns I would like to include in my table. Uh, so I like to include empire, capital, from to, and duration. Only these columns, right? Click on next step. Click on preview here. I can see um, SQL it creates. So first you can see it has a, a table. It creates table Wikipedia. It uses URL to create table. I can change it table because basically there are only two places into SQL where tables mentioned here and here. Here I can also I can change um, fields if I would like to change it. And um, to save a SQL file, click on save result. Uh, it will ask me name of the file and location. This name and location, okay. I click save, and you can see file has been saved. Then let's go and see file. So this is my a file, I right click, open with notepad, just to show you. And basically you see it creates table with ID, this is auto-generated ID. Um, there was a, on second screen, there was a create ID option and uh, yeah, I left it checked in because usually for some, usually web pages doesn't have a unique ID. But if you insert in data into SQL, unique ID field is recommended to have so I can uniquely identify each field by number. And this is why I, I left it this checked. And yeah, basically all fields, we, uh, columns we selected um, has been added. And as I mentioned, I can change table name here and here to have different table name, or I can change type of uh, columns if I would like to. 
And basically I can uh, run this um, SQL on my server or I can send it to my DBA and he will run it and I will have table with all data from this page inserted into this table. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, basically that's it. If you have any question about conversion, um, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.